Hey everyone, Tragic the Garnering back again with another random buy from Goodwill. That's where I've been getting so many good lots from over the last really couple years. Um, are they drying up? Are they catching on over there and starting to try to trick us? Let's find out today on this lot, uh, which I paid uh, 336 with about like 16 bucks in shipping, so right about 352 is what I'm setting this at. Let's see what it is. Um, first glance, if you didn't look close, would be uh, pretty uninteresting. Got a box here with four slots. That's approximately 4,000 cards. Not sure if there's anything in there. It might actually be some of this stuff that's here. Um, looking closer at some of the cards, you see not much. Some swamps, some plains, so basic lands that are mixed in with really a lot of commons and uncommons. Um, some tip cards are left in there, so that means they were not diligently sorted, um, which can can actually be a good or a bad thing. Um, right here you do see there's a phylactery lich, and it's foil. Um, not a big card, but it is a rare, which I do like to see. And then, uh, of course, um, there is some sorting here by color for some of this. So almost all of this is commons and uncommons. Um, couldn't find really too much more interesting, except what probably anybody who really looked close um, saw and was bidding this up is this one card right here as a Cavern of Souls. So... Showing one great card, a $60 card, in the middle of all of these really uninteresting cards. Is that the ultimate bait? Did I fall for it like a little fish? Uh, or is there actually something else in the rest of this big box? Um, I have had lots before where they did not pick out good stuff and they just kind of opened packs and threw it into a box like this and then it just got left in a closet for a while and eventually it ends up at a auction like this. So it does happen. Um, did the goodwill know enough to try to psychologically trick me by putting this one good card here? I kind of doubt it. Uh, I feel like they just spread these out, really not knowing a whole lot about these. This is That's much more of an eBay trick. You know, if, if you saw this on eBay from a seller who clearly sells magic cards all the time, I would never buy this from eBay with this little bait right here. Um, but Goodwill, I'm willing to make that bet. That's what I'm all about, gambling on these. So, let's do the next thing. Oops. Where's this? Switch. Right. Okay. Here we are. Now I'm going to open this box. So the weird thing about this was that it looks like they repacked it and it's really hard to see in my camera angle here. Here's the label. You can see that it came from the Goodwill. It said Rappahannock, I think, on the listing, but it apparently came out of Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, it's hard to tell that this is like a big cube box where the, the lot was just in that flat box. So they, I think they must have repacked it. You can see it's all taped up on the bottom, all taped up on the top. I'm going to open it now. Oops, kind of awkward. Here we go, opening the box, and we'll see what we get. So, okay, that's interesting. They, <laughs> they left in the top here the divider box and then wow okay they packaged cards and in bundles into these bubble wrapped footballs that's pretty interesting all right so that's what I'm working with right here that's fun um, I've had lots before where they individually saran wrap them but never actually bubble wrap them and you can see like 
Is that even the best option? They kind of get out of whack there. You can see that they're kind of coming up and hopefully it didn't really wasn't any damage. There's probably 10 bundles of this here, maybe a dozen. So I'm gonna have to open them up one at a time and start scanning through them. And then I'll just put them right back in this box where they came from. So I've got a big pick ahead of me, which I'm gonna get started on right now. So sit back and enjoy the ride if you're into this kind of ride. And as always, I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe for more and check out my other videos and throw me a like. Just tell me what I miss because that definitely happens. A lot of people like to look through and tell me that I missed one, which I do appreciate because I go back and find it. to it so faithless looting is a little bit less on the market than it is on the mid 97 cents it definitely still counts for my uh 90 cent minimum delvera secrets will count so that's a good common to leave behind sometimes these big collections you can make and make it or break it on good commons that get left behind like that so Hey, Expedition Map, another good card. So the uh, the pricing is pulled through the internet and apparently my internet's not connecting very good. Wow, uh, Expedition Map, 292. So that's decent. I'm just curious what, that's the market price. The mid price, 335. See, not a whole lot less. And that Vines of Vastwood is not popping out. Let's see. Okay, it says the market's a dollar. The mid would have been a dollar and eight. But for some reason, it won't show up on the list there. Oh well, but it counts. I'm keeping it. Battle Screech. Now that's a decent one right there. Um. Yeah, it's, it's like slight play condition. So there's a $4 card. Definitely want to see more of those. Flamekin Harbinger, I think, is actually a little bit. There we go. Hater, finally. So, another Nighthawk. Gatekeeper Malakir is okay. There we go. Wall of Omens might be something. Yeah, well, let's see, different edition. Still, 230. Got a long way to go though, don't we? Tainted Peak might be something. Yeah, okay. Uh, not those. Parahemia. Yeah, I had a feeling. It was a little bit.
Fearless looting. Oh, okay, all right, there's a bunch of them. Well, four. Hypnotic Spectre. This one is not a fourth edition. That is going to be, let's see, something like anthologies, maybe. I think it must be because it's got the date there. Let's take a look. Yep, the 9398 date on the picture, which you can't see, is uh, the anthologies version. So that's a couple bucks. Typically, when I go look at lots on Goodwill, I try to be very selective so I don't end up with a lot of stuff like this. And for the most part, that works. Uh, it means you got to be patient and wait for something that looks really promising. And of course, looks can be deceiving. Um, but every once in a while, you get caught up in little hype like this and uh, yeah that's a good token you get caught up in a little hype and get stuck with something like this so it happens I think that a lot of people that start off looking for these um, what well, like I did you know when I first started I got I, I bought a lot of these honestly um, but you're, you get a more discerning eye after a while. You know what to look for. Iker Claw Mirror is an okay card. And uh, you start doing better. But there's still plenty to fail on out there. So take that for what it's worth, which is not much. Hey, cool, 293 for that. Oh, you know what? I need something to go with my Battle Screech. That's close enough. Skull Crack. Yeah, you know, uh, for all the Gate Crash stuff that we've seen, this is the first Skull Crack we found, which is really like the only good on Common, I think. So that got properly picked at one point, probably. That one got left behind. Buried Ruin is about a buck, I think. Just over 90 cents. I get to keep that one. Hey, a Ponder. These are always good. Buck, it's not the Commander version. It's the M12 version. Oops. That one. Yep, need a lot more of those to break even at this point. Throne of Geth. Yep, a little bit there. Gutter Snipe as a foil might be 90 cents. A card that does see some play. Oh, two bucks. Again, I'll throw that over there because I got nothing else to show off. Yep, not much. This might be a really boring video for everybody to watch, but I'm going to post it anyway. Rapid Hybridization, a card that I have always loved and has just recently seen a bit of an increase. Two bucks now bolt forever that's another one in this gate crash giant lot that that's the first one we found interesting
Power defense. I'm sure it's really nothing. Wow, I was totally wrong. Buck 52 for the regular version. Foil is 362. Creatures you control get plus zero, plus five, and gain reach until end of turn. Why was this really? That's really worth that much? I know, everyone's gonna say, your pricing is way out of whack. I'm sure it is. Let's see here. The low price on it is 73 cents. The mid would be 10 bucks. A trade-in buy list high price is a buck 52 on this, so I don't know. Goes great with turbo fog, I don't know. Not looking good. We got just a couple little stacks left here. And there needs to be a Cavern of Souls and a Phylactery Lich in here, or I got hosed. Even bigger than I normally would have got hosed. But luckily, I got this on video, so I can have a little bit of leverage. Not looking good. All the way to the end. No cavernous souls. Okay. Got hosed by the Rappahannock Goodwill. So I'll be taking that up with them. And you can definitely not buy magic cards from them ever again. Um, because they will... Um, stage it and then they'll actually keep the stage cards um, so yeah we'll be having words you saw here first got super tragically epically hosed on this one and uh, if you know what it I mean if those two cards were in there and that was all there was and the rest of this was bulk I would have accepted that that's just the way that it should have been. I took a gamble on a couple of good, well, one good card. And uh, the fact that it's not in there, um, and they didn't even give me the yellow box, and um, now that I've thrown everything into the white box, there's a big stack, you know, a bunch that's kind of missing out of there. Um, Whereas that's like exactly what would have been in the box and then we're missing everything that would have been laid out approximately 500 cars or more and whatever was in that yellow box. So this is, this is a tragedy. <laughs> so um, I am going to post this and you guys can tell me what you think down below. You can laugh at me if you want or you can empathize with me. Um, that's how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. I probably won't really do a total. This is it. Um, well, maybe I will here in a little bit and show you what I actually got that was uh, over 90 cents. Um, but for now, we're done. We're out of here. All right, quick little rundown at the end. Um, there were 34 cards um, that ended up being over 90 cents in that box. Um, which you might expect from some pure bulk um, but since they were showing uh, a cavern of souls and a phylactery lich uh, that were not in the box they staged it and then took that out and kept it whoever puts that lot together this is only this is the Rappahannock goodwill that I'm advising no one to ever buy cards from um, and this is not every Goodwill. Some of them are very honest at what they do. But this is the first one I've actually run into where they've staged like that and actually pulled out cards and not sent them. So all they had to do is put those cards in there and they would not have a problem on their hands like they're about to now when I go give them a call and do what I got to do to 
talk to higher ups and cause a stink. So um, this is usually not how it goes. I'm here to jump on this grenade for you guys and show you what can happen and hopefully doesn't always happen. So um, I'll keep you updated with what goes on um, after this. Um, but for now, that's all I got out of this box. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, wait, the saga doesn't end here. Uh, I got done with the last bit and I was about to go and rage on the manager of the Goodwill of Rappahannock, uh, Virginia, and I walked back to my desk. Waiting on my desk is another box <laughs> that came on the FedEx truck later, apparently, and this is from the same Goodwill of Fredericksburg, the Rappahannock. So there's hope yet i'm going to open this box and see if that cavern is in there uh, it feels light and small like it might be that yellow box that i was saying should have been in here uh that's definitely interesting that they chose to ship it in two different boxes there would have been plenty of room in that other box so let's see what's going on here yep this is it there's see there's the yellow box that same bubble wrap stuff okay what's in this box there better be at least a cavern of souls I was about to go and lose my mind <laughs> On someone and they would have been like hey it's in the mail okay yep yellow box as advertised what else is in there they didn't show you anything that was in the box it was closed in the listing um, so let's see There's some really grubby old cars right there in the front let's see what those are Here we go again. Some lands. Only one land in particular that I'm interested in right now. That's the one right there. Are you kidding me? It is here. Yes, indeed. All right. One good card in this whole thing. It's mint, at least, or near mint. Yep. First glance, it looks real. I might have to just double check it later. 59.65 for a Cavern of Souls. Really the only reason that I bought this. Well, the reason I bought it is based on speculating that there would have been more stuff left behind like this. Okay, fine. There wasn't. I got, I hosed myself. That's how it goes sometimes. Um, but at least they left and they didn't, you know, pull it out as a, a total bait and switch. So at least I don't have to make a phone call now. It's uh, invisible stalker is good. Um, this is definitely odd to just leave one amazing card behind uh, it is possible that whoever owned this originally um, forgot it missed it every time that they went through this collection if they ever did and it got uh, left behind but uh, oops let me get in here but at least it didn't get picked afterwards I go a little quickly through this. I, I guess I'm not expecting a whole lot more now that I found the what I expect to be. Oh, I whipped the Erebus. Okay. Well, it's not a complete loss, but it is a loss. <laughs> not gonna lie. So 
Still need to find that phylactery lich. It's really not worth a lot, but at least it needs to be here because I saw it. And there it is. Buck 74 for a foil phylactery lich. A really bad lightning bolt, huh? That's like moderate play. Um, pretty bordering on heavy play, but it exists and I have it now. That is going to do it. The end of that collection. It's not a collection, it's just a bunch of bulk. And we've at least got the one card that I that we saw at the, the listing. Um, so, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't have to go and try to ruin someone's day. Um, you can see uh, right about 130 bucks as after I take out the stuff that's under 90 cents that I scanned there. Um, so lost money, and that does happen. But we learned a lesson. <laughs> uh, don't fall for single great card lots. You heard it here first. Anyway, thanks for watching if you made it through all this. And uh, make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos and comment and tell me how dumb I am. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.